<laughs> this is the beginning of Audrey 4B. Okay, I'm gonna call it Yaka. Yaka 4B. This one will be identified on the tape as the sole character of the tape, which makes sense because it's about everybody. I'm gonna do this whole introduction to the rest of the dance with me, okay? My name is Audrey Swindell. I'm 31 years old. I have two children, a 14 year old and a 10 year old. And I have been diagnosed with breast cancer. It's a de ductile breast cancer. Okay, I'm not really good at all the proper terms for everything. Anywho, so I have breast cancer. Everything on it looks really bad. And it's, it's quite big, it's 4.8 centimeters. Um, my second opinion doctor believes it's, it's actually probably larger because um, apparently what they saw was 4.8, but it was large and they couldn't get all of it out. Um, anywho, um, it's a very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. It, it grew in a short matter of time. I can't afford to die. I've got two kids I love. Q-tips. I've changed my diet, which was fast food. Uh, I ate like McDonald's, Cars Juniors, Burger King, Jack in the Box, In and Out, all that stuff forever. I, it was it was my main diet. What happens if they get a patient who doesn't believe in cars? I'm sugar addicted. I love uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. God, I used to love that stuff so much. But I, I had cut back on that in like the last year or two. Pepsi. I drink Pepsi like, like there was no tomorrow. I mean, just, I wouldn't drink water every day. Pepsi, 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 Pepsi. I couldn't get enough. Go get me a new fucking Pepsi. Go. How much a new Pepsi? Go. I swear to God, if you don't give me a fucking Pepsi, you get no sex. Ever. Again. Ever. Pepsi, Pepsi. I want a fucking Pepsi. <laughs> Give me a motherfucking Pepsi! Give me a Pepsi! Funny. Could this be called an addiction? Do you think? I'm just curious. I know too, mommy. Ella, hey, go get your mom a Pepsi. Why are they? I brought you. I could be feeling completely sick, and I knew it was because I was drinking all this Pepsi and no water and smoking. I smoke cigarettes. Open it. It's a huge. No, um, I can't touch it. Why? It's sterile. Breast cancer. I'm sterile. And I, I smoke it was quite a bit. Like it's sterile. And there were a couple of times I should have quit, but now um, I've I have to quit. I have to quit drinking the Pepsi. No more Pepsi. No more smoking. No more fast food. It's all. Healthy organic stuff. Open it first, stuff. please. So that it's ready. Getting used to. No, it isn't. And um, <clears throat> uh, just water, juices, tea, <laughs> non-caffeinated tea. What you're gonna do? Mmm. Anywho, <laughs> it's pretty gross, but you get used to it. Um, just different stuff, and I have to go on a, a new way of living. I have to. Try to exercise more. I don't exercise, okay? If I'm working, that's my exercise. If not, then, you know, whatever. When Get I clean the house, that's my exercise. Um, I have to learn to actually be active mm -hmm. now, which it, I haven't really started yet, to be quite honest, except for maybe I'll walk more. Um, but, um, just, I don't know. 
it's weird. It's changed my approach and my feelings to a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, I've always been, I've always loved my children and, and, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I'm more aware of how precious my time is with them now. They, they get more of my time now than they did before. And true part of it's because I was working, uh, so that kind of takes away from the kids. But, um, yeah, and um, yes, please be careful. I want to do this for every woman out there dealing with breast cancer. It's a very scary thing, and um, it's nice to know when someone's been through it with you, and they're just plain old Jane. No one special who can afford everything. I can't. I'm pretty dirt poor. You know what this is? Poor woman's reduction. <clears throat> What's all this lumber guys here? I don't know. Yeah. One of the things that I've learned um, is yes. really important is uh, being very involved in your best cancer, studying, researching, getting more than one opinion. That's all extremely very important. Um, people are human, they make mistakes. Doctors are absolutely human. They can make mistakes. They can also bring in their own um, unbiased opinions. And and there are doctors that treat you like you're not even... Ooh, I like that. I wasn't supposed to do that. Like you're not even involved in the process. Uh, you you have no human form whatsoever. Oh you don't... You are not a person. You're just another... You're just another... I don't know, bill, something... Not anyone who matters. Just another paycheck. And, uh... It, it's really sad. Um, I um, went to this one surgeon after they diagnosed me. They found out I had breast cancer in the emergency room because I felt the streaking pain streaking through here, and my veins were swollen, and that wasn't normal. And normally I have really tender breasts during my um, period, which is when about this was happening, but I knew this was not right. So I went to the ER. Um, they said I had a lump inside. And they seemed all worried about it, which scared the dickens out of me. This is how to do your own mastectomy. <laughs> Home Project 101. I feel like some mutant from, mutant from Resident Evil. <laughs> We're running out of tape. We got five minutes. Hurry up! <laughs> You're daughter Victoria sleeping. There's my stuff. Hi Ellen, how you doing? My name is Seth. Um, that's Victoria. She's not 
actually my daughter. I was engaged to her mother, Audrey, who died nine years ago from breast cancer. It's a very scary thing. Sorry it's loud, there's a truck there because we're sleeping in an alley and um, making this video because I know you help people and this kid needs help. So can you help her? Vicky is actually mentally disabled. She's 25, but she, she actually got social security on the first try and she gets full social security disability benefits because when she was 13, she borrowed her mother's car. She borrowed her mother's car to get cigarettes and she ended up in a three car collision and uh, it happened right in front of the apartment complex and I was there and we ran down and Audrey told Vicky to go up to her room. And because of that, and because she had a really bad lawyer, um, she got charged with hit and run. So she spent some over 500 days, I don't remember, she knows the number, I don't remember it, over 500 days in lockup. Her life was ruined because when she was in lockup in San Bernardino County, uh, the doctors there decided to try a new drug on her. Here, try this new drug. And right after she started taking it, she said she couldn't feel half of her face and the guards didn't believe her and told her to go back to her cell. By the time someone checked her, he felt her, her finger, one of the doctors on site or nurses or somebody there on site felt her fingertip and felt her pulse. They rushed her to the emergency room and she has permanent brain damage. But she's a good kid and she's still smart. There's just things her brain just doesn't we're still building workarounds to try to fix her brain. But we're homeless, so it's constant things like this. I'm so sick of humans. I want to have a good day today. People need to stop fucking with me! Hey guys, cool. <laughs> 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 but that guy's cool. Oh, that thank guy. God for that guy. Because it's going to be a really bad day until that guy walked yeah. by. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thanks for being cool. Hi, thank guys. thank yeah. God you're cool. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Ooh, if he'd stayed home today, our whole day would have gone differently. Yep. <laughs> so the money she gets from Social Security is not enough to live on. So she's on a waiting list for HUD housing. A 10-year waiting list. So she's still homeless, we're still homeless. Now I won't even get into all my problems because I'm not asking you to help me, Ellen. I'm asking you to help her. She's, she used a little bit of her money to buy that motorcycle. She doesn't even have, it's broken now. She doesn't even have a helmet. She's just trying to stay alive and she's harassed constantly. She just needs some help. Because the thing about that 10 year waiting list is she's five years into it. So because of the way the government's set up and the way they help people, we'll give you money, but we won't give you the housing voucher for 10 years. So she's now, she's got five more years of being homeless. I mean, all they have to do is give her a hot housing voucher and she'll be able to not be homeless. She can't go five more years, Ellen. Please help her. I've reached out before, I've reached out for help. No one ever helps. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but because we're running out of time here and I don't know how much, I know she can't go five more years. So I'm gonna just pull out all the stops and I'm gonna end this video with a trailer that I made a while, um, this film that I've been trying to make about her mother's life and the parallels with her life. And it's a film that'll probably never get made, but I'm gonna use the trailer here to try to maybe pull your heartstrings and maybe, maybe you'll help. Box, baby. I love rock and roll. Come and take a chance and dance with me. It's a 
very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. So sometimes we have to go through things to get us where God wants us. Sweet dreams are made of these. What am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. I feel good. I knew that I would not. You kill me. I can't run no more. Just a girl, a little lonely, yeah, well, don't let me out of your side. Oh, baby, thank you know so much. You think you know so much. You think you know so much. I can't get no boys' attraction, but I try and I try. I can't get no hold on no, I said I can't get no What if there's a cure for cancer? If you read about it, if you study a little bit about it, then you know. As a doctor, I didn't believe it initially, but it works, and it, it works because we see it in the patient. If you have an acid environment in your blood, your body fluids, you're more prone to develop a number of different diseases, including, including cancer. If you manage to change the pH through a formula or through a healthy type of nutrition, then you can manage to eliminate a lot of uh, the diseases that a person might have, including cancer. The response is incredible. Van of dreams, son. We're going to Lancaster. Is that what's happening? The place I picked you up at. That's where we're going then. I mean, we're in the car. Do you have cash? Okay. These people are what? What are you afraid is going to happen? I'm going to give you my wallet. Oh, you're giving me your wallet. Okay. Okay. Probably a good idea. Showing how many times it's been stolen. Alrighty. I'm getting your PCP. I close it. I'll close it. Right. I'll be right here when you're done. Well, thank you. I love you. Thank I love you, you too. Yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetie. Yeah. This is the house I picked her up from five days ago. It seems like three years. <laughs> it's Friday. I got here on Sunday. Holy fuck. And no one's answering now. <laughs> we drove all the fucking way up here and nobody's answering. Oh, damn, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, she's gonna be worse when she gets back. Oh, it's gonna be the worst thing ever. She's just gonna keep banging on that door till the sun comes up if need be. Now she's looking around, hoping maybe he's in the bushes. But he's not in the bushes. He's not there and he's not in the bushes. And now we go all the way here for drugs you're not gonna get. Hashtag good times. Oh, is he opening? Did somebody open? 
Oh, she just opened the outside door. So she can knock harder? Oh no, we let her in. Alright. So there's a deal to be had. Sherms is what she wanted. They're called Sherms. I... It's tobacco, which is just, that's not the bad part. Dipped in PCP. That is the Sherm that she's been throwing a fit about. It absolutely needed to drive 20 miles into Lancaster at one in the morning for good times. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, where are you? In the front? Right where you left me. Okay. You coming out? Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Jesus Christ. Victoria? You good? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Fantastic. Any idea what's going on? She's acting like this? <laughs> You know, there's nobody out there. Um... What's going on, Vicky? No. Okay. You just called and said you were ready to go. Yeah, you know, she's trying to get Sherm. Oh, you don't have Sherm. Huh? We, we drove all the way up here and you don't have Sherm? I don't have it, no, I don't know. Why'd you want to come here to get it? She's a psycho. She's a drug addict. She's needs help. Seriously needs help. Right? Seriously needs help, girl. You seriously need help. I love this girl. She lived with me for I don't know, eight eight, nine months. Um, I love her. You know? My baby. But, uh, yeah. Really? I can't even get one You know, she just dust off the can. Yeah, are we gonna, if it's not here, Vicky, we gotta just go. Okay. It's not going to appear here. So, might as well hit the road. So what time is it available? I'm gonna play my schedule around the drive. Oh, you're gonna take off um, in the morning or? Well, I don't wanna come all the way back here for the oh, thing I that I just came back here for this time. Yeah. So when should we come back? Yeah. Just curious. Yeah, um, I have no idea. I don't, you know, I don't know. All right, well, sh you're gonna call her if it comes in? I just. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Well, yeah, I could do that. Um, or do you want her just to text you every 30 minutes for the rest of our lives? Can I say big to this 20 and then you get two of them and hit me up? And you'll promise to call me when, when you get home and I'll give you the money so you can get yourself money. Give me one and call me one and do it, please. I really, really want you so bad. Please. All right, he'll take care of it for you. Let's go. And that can go on for days. Oh my God. All right, ready? I'm going to be nice, yeah. Mm. 
Looking for a Sherm butt. Would have been amazing. Would have been amazing. Would have been amazing. Would have been amazing. Oh my god. Is that your cup? Okay. Can we go, dude? It's like what two in the That's morning. What I was looking for. What? I've got a. Um... Need some time out here? Yeah. Okay. The door open. Just leave it like this. Where? Where are you? I'm right here. Where is what room? The uh, one down the end of the hall. One down at the end of the hall. Yeah. I don't want to leave you out here like that though. I'll just chill here if you want. You want to bring out a bowl? For a second. Huh? Yeah, for a second. Time. You want me to go get a ball in the room? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I know I'm a lot. <laughs> Are you? Mm. I noticed. I appreciate you so fucking much. I know. We're going to get you out of this and it's going to be okay. I get it. It's really bad. You've been here for four years without me, man. And it, it's not a good place. It's been hectic. Yeah. I've been here. Fuck. Yeah. I would like to eventually. What? I would like to eventually. Get your shit together? Yeah, well, hopefully sooner better than later. Like next week and shit. You're going to see a first horse next week. How's that? We're going to hopefully ride a horse next week. I'm not sure if it's closed down because of that. Oh, but at least see one. I can't guarantee you'll ride one, but I guarantee you will see a horse by Friday. Today's Friday, so a week from today, you will see you will be touching a horse. Okay? It's so my promise to you <laughs> is that in a week you will touch a horse. Word up. I have to help. Having beautiful days every day and stress. Well, he actually kind of, I kind of sense, we kind of almost having a talk right now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's stressful, huh? Yeah. It is. That's for shizzy. 
that's what I'm trying to say, but I won't say it today, not for a thousand years ago, for a few years ago, the test hand down your face, hits the ground, and make a sound, you know, sound, you hear what's with the word, down in here, coronavirus, don't get me getting no dare, I go out of it severe, I want to go get me a corona bear, like a freestyle, oh dear, let's go, alright, good freestyle though, I bet, it's a good freestyle, just letting you know, saying, so, I have I'm not just some old boy. Oh, that's my. Cause yeah, I heard it before. No, I got it. Yeah, Word. All right, just grab your bottle and your phone, and then close the door, and then we'll walk towards your tall hotel room. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Then I'll get to finally eat my burrito I've been trying to buy for the last I'm hour. Sorry. Yeah, get your stuff. Saw. You're done. You're good. I know. I saw no, that. Because well, I, actually I guess you're taking that too. Okay. I was gonna have a shake, but I guess she will. Okay. All right, let's go. Close the door. You can do it. Close the door. You got everything. You I am. I'm sorry. You good? I just wanted to grab this actually because no, I didn't grab it. Oh, you didn't grab tell everything. Tell me things, and it's not true. Ooh, damn, son. And I try to go with what you say because it's all like go with this last minute thing you got. It's caught on the trash. Okay. Is it trash? All trash? Only trash? I don't know. I thought you had that as a trash bag. It's caught. There you go. There it is. Oh, yeah, son. You got it. Trash? I just leave it. All just, trash. Just leave it. Leave right. There's good. We're almost there. We're so close. Oh, We're so close. I can, it's feel, so, I can feel it. It's like twice. I can it almost. It twitched itself into an indenta. An indenta. Sure. Uh huh. A boobity bow. Smiggity smoo. And then the door closes. And then the door closes. And then the door closes. No, nobody. Oh, so close. Almost, almost had it. Almost had it. So close to getting that door closed. I don't know. I don't like that. Where's your regular purse? I don't know. You left with a white, big white purse. I don't know, I was just... Your big white purse? Vicky? Stepping things into what looked like my titty and now you made me feel like... No, it's, is that ah! your... Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it is what it is. There it is. Okay. You can leave the boot because you don't have a boot like that in your room. Oh man. It's at the storage unit. a boot though. At the I know. storage Out of unit. All my shit. At the storage unit tomorrow you will find its I other boot. No, no, it's not even my storage unit. They're it's all in your storage in unit. They're all in your storage unit. No, it's somewhere in here. Well, then we'll look through here. I don't know why, but I can fucking breathe. Awesome. But this you... are my, these are my shoes. Uh huh. I've had these shoes for a long, long time. I'm not joking though about that. I'm sorry. Okay. I. I even had these sh ones socks. Oh, sorry. It's taking longer than expected. Here's this and that. And your phone. And your purse. And we're walking. You need all those little things right now? Okay. I'm blessed. Okay. With my little fucking. Step out. Step away from the vehicle. Ma'am, step away from the vehicle, ma'am. And... Froding dog. Dog. Oh, and left. And then left. And my blessed fan. Left again. Left again. Left, 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 left. Yours is down the end. Oh, there's so many lefts. So many lefts. It strips me out. This is... This is your room. Uh, there you go. Uh, Superman. That's no... Uh, oh, Super right. Super room. <laughs> Folks, have a fine <laughs> evening. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, fuck. Got it? Yeah. What's up? Is that it? Yeah.
Biggity smooth. There you go. No, that's it. It's everything that was in the car. And this. Here. Okay. Doing in the morning. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Honestly. I did such a good job at the storage unit and even picking out what the fuck I wanted and then I just left it there because I freaked out and got angry and stressed out and left. Yeah. Well, there's definitely more stuff in here than I remembered. I mean, the whole reason you wanted to smoke was you get in the headspace to go yeah, through this stuff. Yeah, I wanted all the stress to eat. I'm thrown. Okay, well, the stress is over now. We move forward, Vicky. Don't blow this, man. Okay. Please. I'm blowing this now. How? What can, uh, what can I do to get you to work? Is doing the help? You're helping? Well, you're, are you, what do you want me to do? You tell me, you, you're you in charge. What do you, what do you want me to do? What can I do to help you? I don't want to feel that stress. Please. Then. All your negative bullshit, please. Would you like me to leave? No. Would you no. work on it yourself? No. I can go do laundry for a couple hours. You can go through this okay. stuff on your own. Would you? Can you do that? And then make two piles, keep in, keep in trash. And I'll come back in two hours. Can you do that, or is it going to be you freaking out in thirty minutes because I'm not here? Well, it's not helping me in any way. If I'm causing you stress, I just leave. You work on this storage unit. Is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna go. Help, how did you think you were being a good person by making me feel like this? I'm gonna be I didn't make you tweak! No, 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 fuck you, bitch. Because honestly, a lot of people out here tweak and they can act normal. Then why aren't you acting normal? Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna go away for two hours and do laundry. When I come back, if you have worked on this, that'd be great. Because it's gonna be empty on Sunday. And if you get your stuff out, that'd be great. But if you don't, this is going to be empty on Sunday. Do you have your phone? Are you going to be able to stay here and work on this? No. If you if I drop you somewhere, I clean this out. It'll be empty, dude. I You need to save your stuff. There's no splitting up now unless you really want to stay in Lancaster. I mean, I can't help you if you don't want to go, dude. I'm not making you go. But you're fucking freaking out over I don't know what. Uh, you're making me feel. You trick me. It's so yeah. fucking annoying. I want to try to quit. When we learned to fucking ease up on this. Because I'm sorry I upset you. Go as easy as you need. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I had things that I, I wanted for specific like 10 head. minutes. I wanted what I liked Albert specifically was... even. And I had it ready. Yeah. Well, I don't know what. I, I was why. happy. I was really happy. I was going to even. I was going to be like, dude, thank you so much for doing certain things. Like all this shit is all amazing. And I'm so surprised as fuck. And I was going to be like, wow. And then you were just like, da -da -da -da. I can't just. Why would you do that though to a person that already feels like they're already like. He even looked at you like, what are you gonna think? Is say, there? but you don't have any feeling. You don't understand that feeling. You don't know what that's like. Okay. I wish you would. I will work on that. Isn't that fucked up that he doesn't know? And I just think it's funny. I'm just. It is though, huh? Come, please, please help me a little bit. Yeah, side with me on this one, man. I'm wrong. Come on, tell me. Okay. When a person feels you know like that, yeah, it is kind of fucked up. Word. He's he's doing the best thing he can. Word. And you got a bunch of stuff now you can dig through and rearrange 800 times. But then making me feel like you know. Well, we had errands to do and touch. My yeah. bad. We'll try to do it more gently. We have a lot more weed for tomorrow. Well, so you'll be able to relax. You see what was in here? Is that Vicky? No, see what was in there? You haven't seen what was in there yet? Ooh. Candy. Damn. Mega super joint. 
regular joint, and edibles. Okay? Woohoo! What are we talking about? Somebody really loves you. What are we talking about? I'm sorry. You were complaining that I was hurrying you up at the storage unit, so you freaked out and then went and did a can. I didn't do a can, dude. I thought you said you did. No, I just. Oh my god. Okay. How many times did we just go through this though? You I know? thought just now. You, you heard that too, right? Okay. You know well, I'm gonna, what's going on, I'm right? going to sleep. He's just saying that I can't, even though I did, uh, I did, a, I did a fucking shrimp stick, and that's what we even said okay to. Okay. Well then, but I will this see. This is what I mean. This is what you tediously, constantly. Call well, me he's just acting. trying to make sure that you don't, you don't, you don't. No, you don't understand how he's well, you're acting at like my that. ass for stupid shit. Well, I'm and leaving then he in says two days. okay with certain things, but then he rips. And I'm leaving in two days, and then you don't have to worry about it, okay? Great. But as I was saying, I will see you in the morning. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. We will try to get errands done tomorrow. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff. You guys have a great night. Thank you, sir. Oh, my wallet's gone. Here you go. Where are my wallets? Here you go. Where are my wallets? Your wallet's right here. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you wonder why I'm fucking um, tripped? But I don't know where the shit is. I'm just like, what's shitty bit? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I gotta go get to my room because I don't have the information. Give me a pen. I'll, I got a pen. I'm gonna bring back your notebook with the information and the key. Okay? What do I do? You just relax. What Smoke do do? one of these joints right. for what the dear I, sweet love of happening? Christ what's Almighty. Happening? You have a lighter? Anyone have a lighter? Okay. What's going yes. On? You're about to get happened? high. What happened? What just happened? You're about to get high. What just happened though? Hmm. What just happened? All right. We had a conversation that made not under no What just happened? Nothing happened, babe. What happened is that you're going to smoke that joint, I guess. Smoke that joint. You're not realizing I'm going to go get your stuff. I'll be right back. A lot of my brain actually... <coughs> oh. oh, Lord. The, um, the bottom part by your door? Oh, the door. Okay. Yeah. The bottom part of your door. Oh, my door. There's a little uh, thingy that holds shit. Okay, I'll go look. Take this. I'll be right back. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, this is the last of the stuff of yours that I found. There's a mirror. There are these two things. There's a marker, and is this the thing you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I have to sleep before I die, okay? I will see you in the morning, and we'll do more errands. Okay? Okay. I love you. Night. It's fine. Oh, my fucking Christ. You want me to take you back to the room, right? Yeah. You're going to have to get inside the vehicle for that to happen. Right. Vicki, we're at the storage unit. We have to drive all the way back to Palmdale for the room. <sighs> you have to get in the van for that to happen. Are you making a joke? No. You think I'm gonna drive down the street with you sitting outside of the fucking van? You gotta get in the van. All the way in. There, there you go. You got it. All the way in the van. All the way in.